But it has been Kawhi who has captured the nation's imagination, attention, you name it, fans, mobbed the notoriously tight-lipped star, leaving some to ask, is it all too much? Got our own crack squad of reporters to break this down. Yelena Adzik, Nigel Reed, Laura McQuillan. Hello again. Let's start Hi. now with uh, what's going on. Celebrity on status. I yes. mean, I cover arts and entertainment, and he sure. is a bona fide celebrity, as witnessed by the places where he visits. I mean, Niagara Falls. This is somewhere people were all over him, and unfortunately, his children were in the scene too. So it just is a bit much. Maybe some would say, no, it's great that they're chanting MVP, MVP to him. But others would say, it's cloying, it's demanding, it's just not fair. Let him have his vacation. It's very un Canadian. And that's what some are saying. Although it is very Canadian to visit Niagara Falls, so it doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean that you're going to be moving to this locale. Uh, another one to give you a look at, they're just like us. He goes to Home Depot. Yes, uh, someone ended up snapping a shot of him buying boxes. <laughs> and, and, That's um, not a good sign. So is he moving? Is or he moving staying? in, moving out? Yeah, this is uh, possibly not a good sign. We do know that he bought, purchased a home in San Diego. Yes, it was before, technically before their big win. Uh, but it is, uh, you know, one of those things where everybody is just clamoring, trying to get a piece of him. Not to mention the Blue Jays game, which recently happened. And that was actually a touching moment because we saw the, the crowd just jumped to their feet as we saw a big shot of Kawhi Leonard on that jumbotron and you know he is famous as you say for being completely um, reclusive in the sense of his own body and being he likes to keep to himself he's not going to be smiling and bombastic but there you get a look at that shot of uh, people just saying stay will you just stay be a part of us it's we're a little bit of a desperate teenager situation in high school but, <laughs> well, but there you have it and a couple of parental figures are stepping into this Laura to say hey cool your jets. That's right and I think there is something everyone here needs to be told just chill out because Kawhi he's a fun guy but he's also a chill dude and so he's not going out he's not making a lot of noise but people in Toronto have been there's this Kawhi and Dine movement which is offering him <laughs> all kinds of free stuff 50 or more businesses you know offering him free food for life he's been offered free tattoos <laughs> free suits a free condo anything you can think <laughs> he of. he needs it right? Right yeah. and, and uh, so people are being told you know just relax keep it quiet a bit of quiet encouragement and among them a trio the mayor John Tory uh, the super fan Nav Batia and a very well-known businessman Muhammad Faki uh, they have set up this website and I want to show you it it's called kawaii you should stay dot com here they say they're going to encourage him to stay the Toronto way. That's quietly with a petition. And this petition, it's somewhere around 18,000 signatures so far. They want to get to 100,000 of them. People writing messages on there saying, uh, please stay, but also we'll leave you alone if you stay. <laughs> One other thing I want to point out. Whatever though, he wants. Yeah. Alongside this Kawhi and Dine movement, there's a movement called Kawhi and Give. Because Kawhi Leonard is a man who's you know got a contract worth some $20 million. He doesn't need more free stuff, but he has in the past said he wants to give back to communities. He's hosted basketball camps for youth. So how can we give back in a way that reflects that? This movement is gathering donations and it wants to ask Kawhi himself, what can we give to in Toronto that mm. aligns with no, your that's interests? That's thoughtful. It's yeah. nice, right? And it means even if he does leave us, and hopefully he's not going to, uh, <laughs> that Toronto will be better off in some way for having had him here. Now, Nigel, you are the sports guy, so we get some uh, sensibility arriving around this in terms of the sporting figure and how this plays out, because really Really, we've never had uh, an MJ. We've never had a LeBron. We've never had a figure like this in this city, maybe even in this country. Well, let's get one thing Wayne straight. Gretzky, hockey, let's get one right. thing straight. The Raptors are NBA champions because of Kawhi Leonard. It's a simple equation. Without him, they don't win the NBA Finals. He averaged 30-plus points a game in the playoffs. Now, the Raptors are in the box seats to re-sign him. Why? Because they can offer him a longer deal and a more lucrative deal, a Raptors max deal would be around 190 million US over five years. Others, for the time being, limited to 140 million over four years. Also factor in the medical side of this. Last season, the season before he came to Toronto, he played nine games. That was all in his last season for San Antonio. This year, the medical staff got him healthy. They managed the load. He was cognizant of that. And, of course, he went on to become MVP of the finals. LA Clippers want to take him home to Southern California. The Nets and the Knicks are also sniffing around as well. But this isn't about money. I mean, Leonard is a multimillionaire. Mm. He is an intensely private man. I think this eventually comes down to 
what it should be, a very private decision between him and his fiancée and the young daughter. Where do they want to grow up? Where do they want her to go to school? Uh, it's not about the money. Does he want to be a Canadian folk hero for the next five years? Does he want to spend five more Canadian winters? Or does he want to go back to the sunshine okay. in L.A.? OK, <laughs> but here's the thing, Nigel. We're talking about not having a Canadian folk hero, but even if we get Kawhi Leonard, i got to break it to you, we still won't. I'm about to get very unpopular here because I'm going to say it. I'm willing to participate in the collective delusion that we've all had, that we've got this team, and it's our team. There isn't a single Canadian on the team, technically, okay? Technically? Technically, no. You want to be Canadian. You should be rallying for the Indiana Pacers because at least they've got Corey Joseph. This is something that we all participate in, okay? Overall, I think it's important to note that Kawhi Leonard... It would be great to be here, but if he's here, your pride in a Toronto team or a Canadian team, let's just say, oh, you know, and yeah, let's but then we'll have to take all those Canadians out of the NHL, and then it could get ugly. It well, could Americans be an international cheer for incident. Canadians yes, over there. It's exactly. true, but let's just let's just be honest about our, our allegiances. That's all. I'm saying. Worth noting as well, in one week's time, his free agent status comes up. So. One week from now, we might know the answer. But the yeah, Raptors say they're almost ready to deal, so they're, they're burning the midnight oil with accountants and eye shades and bank accounts and calculators <laughs> yeah, and all that stuff. Sure. Guys, thank you so much. See you thank soon. Thank you. No problem. Yelena, Nigel, and Laura, thank you.